We're continuing our Teacher Voices series, uh, and today we're fortunate to have Stephanie Bryan with us. You're a, uh, an LD teacher, a learning disabilities teacher at Greenbrier Intermediate. Uh, and I also noticed from some of our interactions that you have uh, three kids, five and under. Uh, and I, my first question is, how do you manage that even when there's not a pandemic? Um, trying to keep a schedule and a routine um, is definitely the biggest thing um, and trying to keep them um, entertained. <laughs> so right. It's definitely a juggling act. I be, yeah, I'm sure. So how's it, how's it going uh, with your family during this time of all this quality time? Um, I try and make afternoons like our uh, time where we're outside. We have um, fortunate to have a big backyard. So um, we try and get some time in in the morning um, and then in the afternoons too. That's kind of like family time uh, where I step away from the computer and the emails and um, interacting with my students and parents and, and try to just spend quality time with them. That's great. That's great. So how are you, you teaching uh, learning disabilities? It's not like you have specific content necessarily that you're teaching. How are you working with your students uh, at this time? Um, so working on addressing their IEP goals. Um, we're using Google Classroom, Google Meet, um, phone calls. I actually had a, um, a student last night who's having some computer problems. So um, once mom got home, I was able to call and touch base with him about a book that I assigned on Epic. So lots of different uh, modalities. Um, trying to get to them any way possible. And, and generally, how are they handling this? I, probably everyone is handling it a little bit differently, but what kind of feel do you get for that? Yes, um, everybody is in a unique situation. Some people are asking for more and doing wonderful while others are just trying to make it day by day. Um, so just giving grace and um, just trying to meet them where they're at. Yeah, great. Um, what, uh, what are, are there any special challenges that these, that your students, these uh, special education students have uh, with the, these types of changes to the way that they're learning? Um, I think that everything going online is difficult um, because some kids interact better when it's um, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Some act, interact better when um, we're in a small group. Um, and some have technology difficulties as far as access um, the technology and being able to, um, you know, read, read directions or um, it's just a very different setting. So some are thriving and doing well, while others, it's, it's difficult. And how are, how are you liking it? How, how are you dealing with this whole new sort of revolutionized way of working with your, with your kids? I um, am enjoying being home with my little ones, but it's difficult. Um, I'm missing my students, um, the interaction with them, um, being able to see them daily, um, share their successes. Um, so it's, it's difficult, but we're taking it day by day. Okay, great. What have you found? Have, you, have there been any surprises, any positive things that have come out of, of working this way for you? Um, I would say um, I have one student who so um, she, um, in the classroom, she can get very anxious. Um, and the first time we did a Google Meet, she was so excited. I had not seen that side of her in a long time. So that was awesome. And she was participating and she was excited to give me an answer and didn't need any redirection. So that's been awesome to see with her. That's great. That's great. What, uh, what other ways or what ways are special education teachers in general helping to support uh, the, their students at home that you're aware of? Communication. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, reaching out to parents, seeing how um, they can be supported. We're all in a unique situation. Parents have been put in a position of being a teacher now, um, and um, teachers have kind of been the hands-on people that we are, our hands have kind of been taken away in a, in a, a way that, um, so I think just communication and um, just being able to support them in ways that we can. What, um, what advice have you been able to give or would you give to uh, parents of these, of these students, these uh, students with learning disabilities? I've talked to several of my parents about how, yes, we're in school for six hours to seven hours a day, um, but when we're doing a lesson in the classroom, our instruction is only 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're stopping and rotating and, um, you know, a guided reading instruction. We do our whole group lesson, and um, that's maybe 15 minutes, and then we're moving into guided reading, and those are only 20 minutes apiece. So um, we're not sitting down for hours at a time. Um, so telling my parents that, <clears throat> that, you know, 20 minute increments are, that's great to do because after that they're, they're starting to get bored, they need to move. So breaking things down into chunks of time rather than sitting for long periods. 
And then also that, you know, when we're in a whole classroom, we're trying to reach multiple children, whereas this is a one-on-one -on -one setting, or maybe you have a couple kids at home. Um, so your increments of time and being given instruction are going to be smaller. All right. And what advice would you give students? I, I talked to uh, uh, Dr. Jewett yesterday, and she, one of her pieces of advice to her students was be patient with your parents because this is a new situation for them too. What, what advice do you have for students? I would definitely agree with that. Um, being patient that um, mom and dad or whoever is at home, grandma or grandpa, um, this is all new for them and that I I hear from my daughter as well, my five-year-old, and I remember saying this, that, well, that's not the way my teacher taught it. So that there's lots of ways that things can be taught and just to, to be patient with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, that they're doing the best that they can. And vice versa for parents with students too, um, especially our exceptional learners, that every kid is, learns differently and we just have to have patience. Right. Well, that's great advice all the way around. Uh, I, I love talking to you. You obviously love your kids and, and love what you do. And, and we appreciate all the work that you're putting into reaching out to them. Uh, so I'm going to let you get back a little bit of quiet time before your kids get back from lunch. Uh, but thanks for talking to us. And hopefully we can check in again soon. Absolutely. I'd love that. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you, Stephanie.